Hello and welcome to the Crayon Kids video chat series. My name is Karen Morales and we have a very special guest today. The most beautiful girl and such an intelligent and creative person. Her name is Addison. But Addison, would you- Hi everybody. Yeah, would you like to go by Addie or Addison? I really don't care. Everyone in my school usually calls me Addie or Addison. So I don't really care what you call me, but I usually, at school or at home, I usually go with Addie. Addie. I like Addie. Okay. <laughs> I'm by Addie. And um, if that's okay. And you, I was so excited to be able to have you as our special guest um, because you are, have done such great things already in your little life and you you just you're an amazing creative person and I wanted to ask you first of all Addie how old are you well I'm actually eight and a half now I turned eight in January and I'm eight years old that's great. That's great. And that's a perfect age. I taught seven and eight year olds and perfect. It, they, those are the nicest kids in the world, I swear. And I wanted to ask you, um, what grade will you be going into next year? Um, I will be going to third grade. Third grade. Are you excited for school to start? Um, yes, I am very excited because in third grade, because in second grade, when I used to go to second, I was in STEAM, and I, if you are in STEAM, you don't have to get out of it, and so my whole pl class, except for a couple people, but part of my whole exact class will be in the same class as me, and I'll be in this, in the, in the, like, I'll be, li I'll be right next to my, um, other my second grade teacher oh did you like <laughs> second grade when you were in yes it was grade? really fun yes i just well you know i had your mom and i had your mom and your aunt in my second grade class so i love you know i never got out of second grade <laughs> i was always <laughs> a second grade teacher but third grade yeah. is so exciting as well and you're gonna just love it and I can't wait till you guys go back to school to see all your friends and I know your teachers will love to see you you know when it's safe and and everything like that and I just mm -hmm. I I know they miss you as much as you miss them I believe me when I say that um, I wanted to ask you what is your favorite subject in school um well we have a lot of subjects in a day, eight hours a day, and I really, I'm really, really into math mostly because I really like the subject of it and pushing myself each year to get more and more better. I'm starting to work on times and division because I, in second grade we did hard addition and hard subtraction and a little bit of multiplication, but now we're doing multiplication and division. That's great. Oh, that's wonderful. I tell you, when I was in school, um, I loved addition and I loved multiplication, but I didn't like subtraction and I didn't like division. It's like it's like something about it. I don't know. And and then, yeah, you know, like me because I really don't like subtraction because it's like way more stress. You have to go back a little bit and then division. I haven't even tried yet and I'm sure it's going to be terrible. But <laughs> at least everyone whoever's been in school are trying their best and that's what matters. Exactly. That is it. That is it. Do you, would you, do you rather, do you like to write stories and things like that and act or do you? Um, I really into dancing and singing and also acting because that's probably the same thing yeah. yeah mostly dancing though i really like dancing a lot and moving and it's my full it's my um i started dancing when i was two years old and so yeah. i've been into dancing for probably um six years of my life so wow. i'll tell you what my dad was a baseball player and everything 
and he taught me so much about that. But I was the one to teach him that being a dancer and a cheerleader is also a sport. And don't let anybody ever tell you that dancing is not a sport because it is. There's not a whole lot of people that could do that either, you know. So dancing is a sport and it is it is great for your body and it's great for your soul and your mind and makes you happy and everything. So and acting too and stuff. So but that's how I was. I, I like doing creative stuff and doing that rather than um <laughs> math <laughs> but mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you what have you been doing during this time when you haven't been in school well the first two months of court of this self-isolation I really didn't know what to expect because I was realizing during like March 9th, we went to, on vacation and we were supposed to go to La Jolla Beach and we didn't because all the coronavirus had kept, kept spreading and it was coming near us. And so we decided just to go to a state vacation. And then once we came home, my mom said self-isolation for two weeks. And I was like, OK, we're probably going back. And then all of a sudden I heard about it and we're not going back. I just freaked out. I didn't know what to say. I was just shocked because we had, I still, I feel like I, I think I still have one of my projects still inside second grade. And I'm like, dang, we have to go back to school. But right now I've calmed down and we're actually every Sunday today. Um, I stayed home with my mom, me and my mom, and then my two other brothers, Max and Dawson, they went to one of my grandma's house. And then every Sunday, some two people of my family goes to one of our grandma's house and then one kid stays home so oh that's so great but it's you know it's so great that you have parents and and a family who uh, can do fun things together and and you just have to be creative you're you have a lot of you have the same personality as me and it, it is it's starting to get to me because I would I want to be out in the world and hugging and and being with my friends and it's very hard and I understand that and and sometimes I wake up very happy and sometimes I don't and and mm -hmm. so how are you dealing with that how how do you get through it um well I usually I'm eight and a half and you're when you're eight you're not supposed to really become like a like a two-year-old you're not supposed to cry bloody murder and lay with your mom like them and, but <laughs> you're really supposed to tough it out and I've been trying to work on that but it's kind of really hard on me because when school was a thing I every single Wednesday like every single week I would have to hang out with one of my grandmas and it was so much fun and now, since we're in isolation, we don't get to do that much. We don't get to we don't get to go to school and have ice cream and all that stuff. But we get we we do get to do zooms, and I'm trying to work it out and try to do my best to stay positive and not the negative, because um, what's thinking about it is you want to like think about all the m happy memories and think about all and pretend like there's a big cloud. And half of the cloud is a peaceful and a happiness, and one is an evil. You want to fight it, like, pew, pew, pew. And then all of a sudden, the evil goes away, like, whoosh. And the evil goes away. And then all you want to do is just be thankful for yourself and work together to be a regular family again and think the positive. I, I agree. That's a great way to do that. And you know what? That's... It's just hard sometimes to think like that, but then once you start thinking like that, then it does help so much. So you are mm -hmm. awesome. You are awesome. And on that note, I want, well, first of all, I wanted to ask you this. What would you like to be when you grow up? Um, really, I really want to be, well, <laughs> I want to be all types of things. I really want to, so... I really don't know what to say because I have so many things I really want to be because when I was four I really wanted to be a pediatric dentist and then when I turned this is kind of gross but I'm going to tell it anyway I wanted to be a 
the back like, when you go to the back of your car and you use the bathroom a bit. I think checker. <laughs> 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 I wanted to be a dance, a dance, a thinker. <laughs> that, that, those two past years when I was six and four, and I remember those memories. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing, Addie, that I want to tell you. You can be more than one thing, and I'm here to prove it. I was a teacher first, and then I always wanted to be a writer. And now I'm a writer and I, you can, you can do more than one thing. You don't have to just do one thing. Mm -hmm. But what we were just talking about is um, you remember you were talking about the cloud and there's an evil part and a good part and you fight it off. Well, I have a new um, puppet and she's in, she's in going green and her name is hope and hope is, you know, wishing, and hoping that things turn out well. And this is hope. Hopefully we always keep hope with us, right? And Oh, yeah. Okay. After this, I'm asking my mom for one of those because that's beautiful. <laughs> they, you're a great writer and beautiful. You do beautiful things. Oh, yeah. You know what? You know who made this for me was my sister-in-law. My husband's sister made this for me. And when I was talking to Brixton, I didn't tell him, but the shoes fell off of her, so I have to glue them back on. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> but, but this is Hope, and she's one of the characters in the story of Going Green, and she will also be in my new story. And in my new story that's called Cray Animals, I'm going to send you a copy of that um, for free for doing this because you are so awesome. But anyways, Hope. Oh, my God, thank you. You're welcome. Hope oh. to ask you some questions, some would you rather questions, okay? Okay, Hope, make sure those questions aren't too silly, okay? Okay, he promised. She promised. Okay, the first mm -hmm. question, Addie, is would you rather, oh, wait, wait, you have to tell me, huh? Okay, all right. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, all right, the first question is would you rather have a magic carpet that flies or your own personal robot? Ooh, that's a hard one. <laughs> um, Hope, I would probably go for a personal robot because robots are pretty cool. They and I can make like a, di like a cleanup robot that can clean everything. <laughs> <laughs> do your homework and stuff. It could do your homework. Yeah. <laughs> okay, did you get that right? Yay! She, she thought that that would be your answer. Okay, the next one. Okay, ready? Oh, I think I know the question to this one. Hope wants to know, would you, Addie, rather be a famous singer or a famous actor? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Um, Hope, I'm going to have to choose both because those are both one of my favorite things so I'm gonna have to choose both <laughs> oh, that is which, which one would you do first um probably a famous singer okay all right did you get that right yay hope thought you might do both so that <laughs> you can do both okay here's the other one I like that okay would you, Addie, rather fly, have the power to fly, or have the power to be invisible? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> well, flying and both of those things are pretty cool, but I'm going to have to go with flying because I've always wanted to fly before. Okay. Did you get that? <laughs> what? No, he said, she said invisible because like if you got in trouble or anything, you could just make yourself invisible, but you, oh, yeah. know, you could always fly away though too. <laughs> so <laughs> that's cool. But anyway, so Hope wants to say goodbye to you and, and um, she was really good at that. Huh? And, and um, <clears throat> Hope wants to tell you to keep Hope 
and never give up, okay? You promise me? Okay, thank you. And also, I wanted to show you, this is, you and Brixton are the first ones to see this. This is a little cup that I got, and it says the Crown Kids video chat series. And, um, but I haven't used it yet, and, but I was so excited to get it. So that's what I wanted to tell you. If you make little things, you know, and, or look forward to things, or mm -hmm. make plans, or keep a routine, that really seems to help a lot you know, and, and write down things you're going to do that day instead of like not have any ideas, not have any plans, because if you don't, then that's when it becomes hard. Right. So, yeah. So write down little plans and things, but, but Addie, you are the most wonderful person and I will come to your classroom next year. I will promise in third grade with your teacher I'll try to get there. I'll do it even virtually online or anything to read uh, the new book. Um, but the new book is called Cray Animals, and that's not out yet. It's at the printer right now. But as soon as it comes out, I'm going to send it right to you. And oh, thank you. You're welcome. And, <laughs> and um, I think you have my favorite book at all. Do you have it right there with you? Yes, I do. I have the Crayon Kids book. Yeah. That's my all-time favorite because that was my first one. And I really appreciate yeah. having you. I, go ahead. Go ahead. Did, um, the, my favorite part about this book is all the colors and happiness about it because it's really, it's funny. It's kind of happy. It's kind of weird. It's all that things to put together to make a really good story. So you're doing amazing of what these children are getting to make books well, to, i don't know what i just said but i love doing <laughs> and your books are so good every time i read them and thank you so much for letting me be your special guest thank you more and and i love you and you were the best you were just such a great guest and <laughs> and you're such a great um young lady uh, and you're going to be beautiful and wonderful in third grade you're gonna love it so um we'll see you soon okay Addie? and and thank, okay, thank you, you and have a good day and um thank you for being our special guest today so. oh you're welcome <laughs>